husband brought home a puppy without my consent. Now what? I have always thought dogs were cute but not for me. My husband has never been a dog owner. Two weeks ago he brought home a young puppy without even asking or telling me. I work full time in a stressful healthcare career, am 100 responsible for our two young kids from AZ, one of whom has a learning disability. I am also 100 responsible for housework, cooking, grocery shopping, and errands. My life is exhausting, mentally and physically. I probably give 60 of myself to all of my commitments, more to my kids even though it exhausts me. He works long hours and is rarely home due to this. I have told him on many occasions that I do not want a dog at this point of my life. So he brought home not even a dog but a young puppy who is not potty trained. I have very little strength and energy for him. He poops and pees everywhere in my house. I tried putting him in a crate, but I work long hours and don't have the heart to crate him for so long. I am constantly cleaning the filth of feces. With this dog and my work schedule, there is no chance I will have a normal clean home. I tried potty training him, but he is stubborn, and I don't have the energy to do it. My husband does not take care of him at all. I am trying to rehome him, but I keep getting offers from breeders. I have grown attached to him and want him to go to a nice family who will take good care of him, but since he is an unnuetted male shenoodle, I guess he is in demand for breeders. Please give me some advice what to do. I am lost. Edit My husband has convinced a lot of people, including himself, that I have an anxiety disorder. If you decide to rehome the puppy get it neutered spayed before you do if you are trying to find a home on your own. If you turn it over to a no-kill shelter or rescue most will do this before adoption but make sure. Dogs bought only for breeding can live hellish lives so please spare him that. You have valid reasons for wanting to rehome. Whatever you do never sell to a breeder. Info why is your husband fine to continue to lump you with responsibilities when you're drowning? I would say continue to search for a good home. Maybe mention your it at daycare and to friends? Then I would explore how to have a more equitable life. He doesn't do anything and is perfectly fine making your life harder, and offering no help or solutions. That's so scary. I would try to get counseling? This just seems unreasonable and frankly unsustainable. In reading the comments rehome the husband. You can train the dog. He's not even there to look after the animal, how dare he dump even more responsibility on you take the puppy to a no-kill shelter, don't sell to a breeder. Your problems are bigger than this puppy. That was very stupid of him. If I was in this situation, I would rehome the dog when he's not home. In a marriage you're supposed to be partners and make decisions together. You guys need to have a talk about this kind of behavior. If you work full time and he isn't doing any child care or housework you need to rehome your husband. I'm sorry to hear about how full of stress your life is, I think your husband should definitely be reminded about how much you are expected to do around the house. While I think a puppy is fun if he seriously wanted a dog, he should have gotten one that was already potty trained and well behaved. It seems he doesn't have your best interests in mind, and only does what is convenient for him. I think if he can bring a dog into your life without your consent, then you can find another loving home for the puppy without his. Then again, I do not know you I don't know him just my thoughts. Return the puppy to whoever he got it from. No discussion. Why are you accepting your husband's behavior? You work full time, and do a full second shift of all the child care and household chores and management. You are in fact a single parent, and your life will improve if you make that fact a formal choice. Your life will be easier once you have only two people to care for, rather than three. Rehome the puppy, and rehome your husband. He is undeserving of the titles of husband and father. Keep the dog. Divorce the husband. He is an ass hat to do this. Absolutely inconsiderate. Find a nice home for the puppy with a loving owner. I'd get rid of it super fast. 
Unlike cats, dogs are a massive commitment as they need to spend time with you 24-7. If my wife brought one home, I'd go ballistic. Thankfully my wife is afraid of dogs. It's good to hear your e-homing gim. Worse comes to worse, give him up for adoption at a shelter. And have a talk with your husband about life-changing things like a dog are things both of you need to discuss first. Drop the dog and the husband at the shelter. My dad did the same thing. To top it off, he knew my mom was allergic to dogs. My mom rehomed the dog one day when he was at work and while my brother and I were at school. It was honestly the best decision for everyone. Have you considered rehoming your husband? Or on a more serious note therapy? Is this what you want your relationship and life to look like? I'd also like to know why you have a job and you're 100 responsible for everything. Literally, what is the point of being married? Stop cleaning the dog poop in a room that he regularly frequents. Make him clean it up. He'll rehome that dog fast, or send it to get trained. Return to sender the husband. The puppy stays. Controversial advice but he's not your equal or partner. You have better chance of training the dog. Honestly send them both to be rehomed. At least the dog will be successful. It's time to rehome the puppy. That was a dick move on the part of your husband. Take it to the shelter and drop it off. Then start looking for a good home for the puppy. Give him to a dog rescue. They will make sure he goes to the right family not a breeder and get him fixed. They do this all the time. He will get a nice home. Shame on your husband. He is a real jerk for putting you and the dog in this situation. Rehome the puppy and the man. Drop the husband off at a shelter. Keep the puppy. Sounds like the puppy would offer more support than the husband. Keep in mind, if you divorce him and do joint custody there will be entire days out of the week where the kids are with him. Just think about it. Full days of rest. And never having to take care of that giant third child again. My brother used to do this. A new dog or animal every time one died or just in general. It got really tiring. Keep the dog, rehome the husband. Divorce. Your husband does not care about you or your kids. Show some respect towards yourself and teach your children how to live a meaningful life. Your husband subs like an idiot. Why is he not helping around the house and with the kids? Do not give or sell him to a breeder. Schnoodles are excellent dogs for people with allergies as both the Schnauzer and Poodle are lono shedding breeds. Post adorable pictures of him online and seek potential adoptive owners. There are more than one rescue adoption related subreddits. Contact a local rescue or shelter and offer to give him to them and be his foster. They might be willing to accept him on paper, leave him with you as a foster, and advertise his availability on. Your husband did something pretty knuckleheaded. You did not bring this on, he did. You need to make it clear that this was not okay, that you'll be rehoming the puppy, and that if he does this again it's a deal breaker. This is unlivable and you shouldn't allow yourself to be subjected to such conditions. If you really want to rehome him, see if you can find a breed specific rescue group. They will vet and neuter the dog and make sure it goes to a good home. Had a situation like this. My ex wife had picked up a kitten despite me stating for many years I wanted nothing to do with it. She picked it up while I was on a business trip and had the kids excitedly FaceTime me. A few months later, we were divorced. There were other issues, obviously. But the utter disdain for me that was displayed with that decision really cemented the decision for me. X200B. He is hoping the situation is better for you. Get the puppy neutered first before you rehome it. It doesn't need to live a life of basically being a doggy fuck toy for someone's lazy income. Also, it sounds like you and your husband need to sit down and have a talk about him doing more with the kids and around the house. I never understood the whole they work lots and therefore I do everything excuse. He needs to be a parent, too.